What is up my fellow Doverkins? Today I'm going to show you how to make the little PewDiePie vortex effect from the Coco video which got deleted by YouTube but you know the effect is cool so it's gonna look something like this Pretty cool, right? So now let's jump into After Effects and start making this effect. First, we're going to select New Composition. We're going to make sure our composition is set to 1920 by 1080. And we're going to call it Main, because this is where everything is going to take place. You can set the duration to about 14 seconds. The duration doesn't matter. Make sure you set at least some good duration. And frame rate can stay at about 29.97 or 30. Make sure the background color is black. Press OK. Now we've created a new composition. Um, in our side, side of our new composition, we're going to create a new composition by going to Composition up at the top, New Composition, and this composition is going to be a little different. We're going to call it Vortex, and we're going to change the height. Make sure your lock aspect ratio to 16 by 9 or anything like that is unticked before you do this. So the height is going to become 9000. Now you can press OK, all the other settings are fine. And inside of this, this is where we're going to start creating things. First, we're going to hit Control Y. That creates a new layer. Make sure it's set to the comp size. So if it's not, just press Make Comp Size and make sure the background color is black. You can leave the black as black solid, but if you want to, you can also call this Vortex. Vortex Black. And that's fine. Just press OK. Now you can press Control D to duplicate this layer. And on top of this new layer, we're going to go to Effects and Presets and type in Fill. We're going to drag the fill effect onto this top one and we're going to make sure it's red. Well, it doesn't have to be red, we're going to change the color around right now. So we're going to go to color, you can just click on it. And then we're going to change this color to like a pinkish red because that's what PewDiePie is like, but we're also going to take a little bit of the saturation out and bring, bring it down so it's a little darker. I'm just going to bring it a little bit more red. Kind of like... Kind of like that. The uh, actual hashtag for this is 932D3E. So I can press OK. And then I'm going to drag on top of this uh, good effects and presets, Venetian blinds. Now we're going to set the Venetian blinds transition completion to 50% and hit OK. Or enter. And now that we've done that, you can see it's kind of getting those little layer lines. But the problem is our direction needs to be changed. So let's set the direction to... 90 degrees. You can change it. I, I, I'm pretty sure you can leave it at zero. I'm not sure, but uh, 90 degrees. Just just follow what I'm doing. You can set your width to about uh, 15. You can set this to 10 if you want. If you want like a, a much more th thinner lines, you know, for a better effect. It's up to you what you want to do with the width and all the other settings. Transition completion should probably be 50% though. And now we're going to go to our effects and presets and search up displace. So we're going to drag on a turbulent displace onto this top layer again. Once that loads in, you kind of get that PewDiePie effect. And if you want to, you can bring up the amount and mess about with that. The more you bring up that amount, the more mad this is going to look. Um, I'm going to set my amount to about 150. Or, no, 170. 170 is fine. That's good. It's up to you what you want to do with the amount and all those other numbers. You can play about with them and just make the effect to your liking. So it's, it's a 170 and it looks all right. I may put it down to, uh, you know, I'm actually put it down to 120 instead. Yeah, 120 looks better. So I'm going to hold down control and select the bottom layer and the top layer. So make sure they're both selected. Actually, we need to be in our composition. Let's select both these layers and then we're going to right click on them, pre-compose, and we're going to just, about naming this comp, we, we could name this, I don't know, vortex pre-comp because that's pretty much what it is. And we'll make sure we've got move all attributes into the new composition checked, not leave all attributes in Vortex, and press OK. Now that we've done that, we're going to duplicate this by pressing Control D. And on this duplicated one, we're just going to right click, go to Transform, and then go to Flip Horizontal. Now that it's flipped horizontal, we can take out our tool up at the top here, the Rectangle tool, you can press Q to get that on your keyboard. And then once we've got that, we're just going to select about two thirds of the way across. Uh, so pretty much about there is fine. 
Then we're going to take out our little pen tool. You can press G for the pen tool if you want that. And we're just going to edit these points right here. So we're just going to add in a point there. Drag it. Add in another point. We're going to make this like a zigzag, basically. And we're just going to keep doing this until we get a very nice zigzaggy effect. This is to basically take away the seam line. So we don't want to actually make a curve, we just want to leave it as it is, like, pretty much normal. And then now that that's done, we can hit F on our keyboard to bring up the feather and change the feather radius to about 50. You can play about with that a little bit, but I, I think 50 is about good. It adds a nice amount of feather into it. And then we're also going to check inverted on the mask. Now that we've checked inverted, what happens is you can see that both of our sides are pretty much the same. But now here's a problem. This this right here may show up. So what we're going to do, just play about with the mask. Play about with it. It's fine. So if you play about with that mask, you can you can get it, get it just to look a little nicer. All right. But now let's go into our main comp. Go to project over the top left here. And now we're going to drag in our vortex comp. Now with our Vortex Comp in, we're going to go to Effects and Presets and search up CC Cylinder. Drag that CC Cylinder onto this Vortex. Now we have this. I know, interesting. So now let's go to the Rotation, drop that menu down. And we're going to go to the X Rotation. And this little second number here, I just set it to minus 90. Now you can see it's starting to look a little bit more like a Vortex. I know. Now the next step, we're going to go to Layer up at the top, New, and then Camera. We're going to set this camera on the preset right here. So let's just drag this over. See the preset? Go to 15mm and then press OK. And that'll just make it wide, pretty much. Now that that's done, we're going to double click on the camera. And then we're going to change up the zoom to about 50mm. You can play about with that if you want, but 50mm just seems good. And another problem right here, we, we have a little bit of dead space in the background, so we're just going to go Control y and add in a new black solid and make sure it's make comp size again. And then press OK. And we're just going to drag this black solid behind, behind everything, and that just fills up this black space up at the background here so that there's no weird stuff going on. Now you can see we pretty much have the vortex, and that is basically the whole effect done. But we, we have to do a few things. So let's go to the camera, go drop down the camera, go to Transform, Set a stopwatch on the Z rotation, set a stopwatch on the position, set a stopwatch on the point of interest. Make sure your, your cursor is at the start when you're doing all that. Take your cursor all the way to the end, and then you can play about with these numbers. So first of all, we're going to do the rotation. We can set the rotation to about minus 200. Do whatever you want with the rotation. You don't even have to do the rotation for this effect. It's, it's not important. Now up at the top, we're going to go to our uh, Track Z camera tool. You can press C for that tool. And if you can't see that tool, just keep pressing C until you get the tool. Now we're gonna we're gonna go to our screen right here and just drag up, and this will change our position and point of interest. Amazing, I know. Just keep dragging that in. You can, you can do as much as you want with this. You don't you don't really have any set parameter. You can you do, just make sure you don't go outside of the vortex because if you do, then it'll look weird. So Bandicam cut off here, but basically take your vortex and camera layer, select them both, right click, pre-compose. Move all attributes into new composition selected. Hit OK. Now that you've done that, go to Effects and Presets. Search Warp. Drag the Warp effect onto that pre-comp. And then set the Warp style to Fisheye. And make the number for the bend go into the minus. Now the thing about this warp is it's playing with the whole effect, so you 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 know I wouldn't suggest going too crazy with it, but you can, you can kind of play about with it, test it out, see how it looks, see if you like it, see if you don't like it. But other than that, this is pretty much the whole effect in general. Like there's, there's nothing else to do. You've now got the PewDiePie vortex effect with without distortion, all that stuff going on, and that is the effect in a nutshell. That's how you create the PewDiePie vortex effect. You are done. So if you got through this tutorial, well done. I don't know what you're actually going to use this effect for. You can use it for anything you want. Uh, your projects, just just go crazy with it, all right? You now know how to make this effect if you ever wanted to know how to make this effect. 
But with that all said and done, I'm going to end the video right here. So make sure to leave a like if you like this video. Make sure to do the share and make sure to subscribe. But I am out until the next video. Peace.